Hey, this is David. We're going now to take a deep dive into the Logitech Capture software. So what you're seeing on the screen is Logitech Capture with it. It has a menu bar up here. You can actually change that to see the screen full screen or you can expand it out to see the controls. So I've currently got Source 1 selected, which is the Logitech Stream Cam that you're seeing me on uh, through the through the video here as I'm capturing this with Camtasia. Uh, you have a second source which I currently have tied to a desktop where I've got the review, the written, a written review of the Logitech Stream Cam displayed on a second monitor so you can see where it can do different sources. Now let's talk about these different sources. Down here at the bottom, you can see you've got source one, source two, you've got source one and two, which will put me in the bottom corner of the other screen. I can do this, which reverses it. Um, I can split the screen side to side, a small large, and then a large small. So you can see the different ways that you can use the two sources that are available on the system uh, here. Each of the sources, depending on what it is, has a different look and feel here. So we'll show this. So now I'm coming through the streaming camera. So it's set up to run this device in a streaming mode. It has in streaming mode, the frame rate is the priority in some of the other items like recording mode, the um, the exposure is the is the priority. That's here. You have a backlight correction currently turned off. You have the auto channel, how it how it works um, on the audio side of items, the image stabilization. You also have auto framing, which auto framing when you turn it on, it kind of focuses in on the person that's talking. So you can you can get that that good look and feel for streaming video. If you don't want to use the auto framing, you can of course turn it off and it will do the stuff. When it is on, however, you I believe you do have some, well maybe you don't have control when you're when you're in this mode, but yeah, I'm not seeing it doing anything different depending on the modes. It has autofocus, so if I move it'll refocus for me. It'll relight for me as you saw before. That's the white balancing, the automatic white balancing and focusing. That's part of the AI that's built into this camera, the um, into the stream cam plus camera here. You've got anti flicker rates. This allows you to set your anti flicker for the different uh, when you're under an artificial lighting. So you can set it to the different rates to make sure it works. It has chroma key capabilities. This is where you can put a fake background behind you so you can turn on the chroma key effects and say which color am I taking out. Um, and then you can do some other adjustments on chroma keying, obviously beyond the reach of this uh, video. And then you have the advanced settings here that give you the, you can flip the source horizontally or flip the source vertically. So if I flip myself vertically, yes, I can be backwards and, or I can be upside down. I could even be flipped. So it looks like I'm going the other direction. So, and if you get crazy, you can be upside down and flipped. So different items to help you with the source as you need to. Uh, just looking at a display type, it only has the, the advanced settings, so you have that. So that's just looking at another screen on my system. Obviously, you saw earlier where if you put the Logitech Capture on the screen, it will do the infinite source um, thing into the background. Your next section is you do have um, screen effects and other, these are different effects options. You can see I've got the watermarks turned on and you notice the Logi logo down here in the lower right. That is what is showing up there as far as the different watermark functionalities here. If I turn that off, I can do turn that back on. Um, got a, you know, different types of text overlays that you can turn on as you're doing stuff. And then you can have scene effects that are in here. Um, so you've got different filters. Obviously, you've got some that you may have to have to do some uh, unlock and, and some other filters. So I've got different filters in here. So, yeah, you can see I'm blanched out and, and not. And these, these are locked. So I'm assuming those are, um, I guess you have to sign in to get those onto your Logitech account uh, to get those that are there. So different scene effects that come in with, with these different items. Your uh, audio sources, you can say which resolution and how fast you want it to run. You can see I'm running 720p here. I can, of course, update this to another level, and you can see which different areas and different modes I, I can go into here. The um, video encoder, 
that's present and then where you're keeping your files and any advanced settings here. So the three, two, one countdown when you start recording, the framing and grid and some enhanced screenshotting capabilities that are there in the advanced settings there. The audio channel, you get different audio coming through the system. I'm actually currently using a different program to capture. So that's why the default microphone is, is still set. Um, I'm actually using my Logitech capture or my uh, Camtasia to capture this. And um, it's using the, the Yeti microphone that I have for this. The alt keys, this is just kind of lets you know what you can do, what controls you can do with keyboard while you're active doing different things. So you've got your switcher capabilities, alt one, alt two, to switch to the different the different scenes that you see down here. So you've got Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3, Alt-4, Alt-5, and Alt-6. So it will uh, go from there. And then this is your account area that you can do stuff with here. Again, you can minimize this to, to get more of the screen on, on, on view. And you can then, uh, again, you can see the different scenes. You've got your pause, record, and snapshot functions down here to take pictures. You've got, let's go look at the file folders, and then you can see the microphone bounce in here. This is the audio section of the Logitech capture software. You also have uh, night mode and day mode up here in the upper upper corner, so you can flip this the look and feel of the screen, um, whichever way you want it to be in light and dark mode. So that's kind of a quick review of Logitech capture. This is part of the software that comes with the StreamCam Plus and can help you with streaming. Obviously, this would support other cameras in the Logitech family uh, to allow you to capture different items and adjust different areas of the screen on this. So overall, uh, we'll just talk a little bit overall about the Logitech StreamCam Plus. I really like this camera. This is, this is a really cool camera and you've got all the different capabilities depending on how you want to stream and how you want to adjust. Of course, you can use the built-in capture functions with Logitech Capture. Um, I've also used this camera with Camtasia, um, so it will capture in both modes and with other tools. So uh, it just adds more versatility to your streaming and capturing and recording uh, capabilities. And if you're doing anything on Twitch or streaming YouTube, creating YouTube content like I am here, or even, even maybe Facebook Live, or video conferencing in this day and age of work from home and conferencing in with your with your partners or your coworkers, collaborators, as we uh, as we are doing right now to uh, um, in society right now. 